The, according to a study by the European Research Commission about three or four years ago, the Internet can reduce CO2 emissions by between 15 to 20 percent through something called dematerialization or virtualization. And that's using all these web applications to deliver mu music, videos, virtual goods, and so forth across the Internet in placement of physical products. So we eliminate all that shipping and transportation costs and so forth. Of course, Hollywood and the record industry is not so thrilled about that, but uh, it's a way of incentivizing people to look at new approaches to really reduce their carbon footprint. And there's also another program called Cap and Reward, where we use the Internet and all sorts of applications like distance learning, uh, telemedicine, and so forth, when we provide those as reward to citizens in exchange for them reducing their carbon footprint and other aspects of their lives in terms of using the car, taking public transportation, and so forth. So, for example, many cities are offering free Wi-Fi on public buses to encourage people to make the ride on the bus more enjoyable, make it more productive, and get them out of the cars. So this type of thing of providing this ubiquitous internet can really help us reduce our carbon footprint.